Chuck some bread in there. There it is. Yes, sir. Oh my gosh, it sinks. There is so much by it. So as you can tell by the title of today's video, yes, we're doing another minnow trap. And that is because of this comment right here. And I listen to all of your comments. But before we get into making this minnow trap, I have a word from today's video sponsor, which is me. I'm today's video sponsor because I actually just made these limited edition fish with passion shirts right here I think there's only six available so you guys can click the link in my description will be the top link in the description if you want to get one for yourself like I said it's very limited quantity on these shirts there's only six of them and a select sizes because I only made a few for the first drop but if you guys do like them and want to see more of these I can definitely make more I can get a bigger batch going but we got to see how these first initial six do so yeah go go freaking oh it's windy it's like 7 a.m. right now. The sun didn't even rise, but it's supposed to thunderstorm in like two hours. So I got to be quick with this one. So the common was to do a five liter, but I cannot find a five liter anywhere. So I'm just going to do a one gallon, which is 3.79. Close enough, right? Well, well, first we need to empty this out. And there's only one way to do that. Oh, that's actually really cold. It's like 40 some degrees right now. Well, I guess it's going to be the same concept as all the other ones. Just going to try to cut it off a little bit, flip it inside out and let the little funnel catch the fish. Oh gosh, I do not want to cut it like that. There we go. Now we're going to do this and I guess zip tie it shut. Whoa. Yeah. Hey. Ah. This is what I need. There we go. That is probably the ugliest opening I have ever seen. Um, but we're going to have to make it work. Oh, I'm an idiot. I forgot to take the lid off. So now it's cl it's closed. Oh gosh, now I have to redo it. Okay. You know, that might be important. Now she's ready to go at the creek here, but I forgot to take into consideration that it just rained an absolute crap ton the other day. And this is the highest I've ever seen this creek. It is completely flooded. And usually when it's flooded, the fish just absolutely disappear because it's so rapid. So I don't know if I'm gonna get anything, but we're gonna throw it in there and try because I'm here anyways. The beta choice per usual is just little chunks of bread right here. All right, let's see how this works. I need to fill up. There we go. She's sinking, that's a good sign. Oh gosh, that's strong rapids. I need rocks, it's not sinking. This is not going very well. We're gonna put some rocks in there. That should definitely make it sink, that was a lot of rocks. Well, it sank, it's down there. I don't know where it is, if it's floating seven miles down the creek, it could possibly be doing that. But the point is, it's down there. We're gonna tie it off to this tree and Come back in about an hour. Yeah, me and minnow traps just don't go very well together anymore, uh, as you know from the last video. So you're saying there's a chance. Absolutely nothing, guys. So yeah, let's hope it doesn't go like that. But while we wait, I'm gonna throw you back to yesterday when I tried to fish the ponds. Dude, it's actually getting warm out right now. It's like 55 degrees. It's been like 60 the past few days. So I'm thinking these bass are gonna be absolutely fired up. So let's go slay them. Oh my gosh, first cast, dude. We're not gonna talk about it, it was a stick. That felt like a bass though. It literally straight up freaking fooled me so hard, dude. That's a little bit embarrassing, isn't it? There it is, yes sir. Oh my gosh. It's not fighting back. <laughs> Can't believe I keep doing this, dude. Oh my gosh, it's not even funny anymore. It literally, it's just sad at this point that I keep doing that. Oh goodness. It's like, cause I genuinely think it's a fish though. So that's just the sad part. All right, moment of truth. Let's pull her in. Well, I don't see anything, but let's cut it open. Yep, absolutely nothing at all. We're gonna come back on a better day cause it's starting to pour now. So I gotta run. Cause this camera is gonna get soaked. It is exactly one week later and I got the milk jug. Back at the creek, as you can tell, it is a lot lower. It's actually like 80 degrees today. It's freaking hot as nuts, dude. Holy crap, I got a freaking tank top on. It's literally April 12th or something like that. And it's already 80 degrees. That is just unheard of in Michigan. It's usually not this warm this time of year. It's usually around like 50 some degrees right now, but we completely skipped spring, went straight to summer, but that's cool. Anyways, the creek is looking nice and calm. I'm sure I'll catch a fish in there today. At least I really hope. Chuck some bread in there. 
variety quick as bait. All right, let's fill her up with water. I already put some rocks in there, so it should sink, at least theoretically. Oh my gosh, it sinks. That's freaking amazing, dude. Let's just launch her right out there. Right about there should be good, honestly. I ain't gonna lie. All right, let's tie her off. Come back in like 30 minutes or something. All right, it's been approximately 30 minutes. Let's check this trap and see what we got. There's gotta be fish in here. There was so much by it. Oh yeah, we got them, folks. There was a frick ton of fish in there, dude. The dang gallon jug worked, y'all. Oh gosh. Dude, look at that. Holy crap, dude. Look at the size of that freaking chub, guys. We caught a freaking big one, dude. That's what you like to see. All right, bud. Oh, see you later. All right, this worked a lot better than my last trap did. That is for sure. Look at these dudes right there. We caught a bunch of fish. I always love when they eat the bread in there and they get so fat. That's probably not good for them, but oops. Anyways, there's all the fish. I think we got a total of like six or something. I'll count it on the screen, maybe. If I can even count it, I forgot to count. But that was pretty successful. Gallon jug does work as a minnow trap. You heard it here first. Well, there you have it, folks. I caught freaking minnows, or I guess fish at this point. They're not really that small. I don't classify them as minnows. But we caught fish in the gallon jug. That is freaking sweet. You can use that as a fish trap. Pretty cheap. It's like a dollar or something for a gallon jug of water. Just chug the water, and then there you go. You got a minnow trap. You don't got to spend a bunch of money on a minnow trap, you know? Anyways, we're going to end off today's video with my Bible verse of the day. And this comes from John chapter 8, verse 12. And it says, Again, Jesus spoke to them saying, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will not walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. And that is just a beautiful, beautiful truth right there is that Jesus is the light of this life and he brings so much hope and joy and just light in times of darkness, hope in times of distress when you just feel all worried. There is hope in Jesus. I felt that firsthand in my life. So there's a little word of hope for you today. And if you did enjoy this one, be sure to leave that thumbs up. And as always, folks, fish with passion. Uh -oh. Can somebody come and save me? I just wanna know, I wanna know